actually you mentioned that uh, meditation also comes from Judaism, but nowadays, like when I I've been to many lessons, tutorial lessons, to different kinds of lessons, and it was only once when I heard about meditation in Jewish practice when they invited a rabbi from uh, Australia. Yes, I think I was. Yeah, I don't remember, but I think you were. <laughs> yeah, so that was the only time, the only once when someone brought up this topic. So yeah. there was a rabbi, I, I, I think that you've heard about him. He wrote books about meditation and mindfulness. Rabbi Wolf. I know. Label sure. Wolf. Yes, Label Wolf. I've, yes. I've actually interviewed him on my podcast. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So he was in Moscow and he was giving a couple of lectures. So he was the first one who brought up this topic. So in Moscow, it's like we are not exposed to it. We don't know anything about Jewish meditation. So could yeah. you like educate us a bit? Maybe tell yeah. us your experience. What is Jewish meditation? And mm -hmm. uh, is, is a prayer and some kind of meditation? Is there yeah. what like... I, 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 I don't think meditation actually is like Jewish, meaning like there's no real... Jewish meditation mm. or Jewish or, or mm -hmm. um, Buddhist meditation, mm. you know, meditation is like a, a central thing that's it's beyond um, religion, beyond nation, okay. um, etc. Et um, I think even our great um, rabbinical leaders would say and have said that uh, meditation isn't to be um, identified mm. and owned by a, a certain uh, sect mm -hmm. once it becomes kind of um like this is our meditation or whatever mm -hmm. then it kind of um in affects negatively the whole purpose of it because it's it's for everyone you know ultimately um but with that being said one of it, its initial kind of um beginnings was with like Abraham and he has many sons and he sends sons to the east and so that practice really kind of from my understanding stems kind of uh from then um so the more and more I practiced and learned about meditation you know I wanted to look into more about what does uh, Judaism have about it because I like yourself um had no understanding that there's any meditation in Judaism. Uh, if anything, it was um, looked at in a, a idolatrous way, like don't get into it because it's uh, idol kind of stuff. Um, so I had all these different questions because it was, you know, from my experience, you know, you hear these different stories about all, all of that perhaps, uh, but my own experience was different. And so I wanted to, you know, not just go according to what I was hearing or learning about, but get my own experience about it, which was completely different, uh, thank God. And, but then the more and more I learned it and, and because of my own perspectives were grow, growing and my interests, then I began to look into and do my own kind of learning and studying and find that actually there is there, it's such a it's it's such a beautiful spiritual uh, tradition and practice and meditation is is very deep, uh, deeper than you know maybe even other traditions in where where it goes or, or what's what's your ability to do it. And then the more and more I looked into and and researched and studied uh, different um, let's say sages or. Uh, physicians, great Jewish philosophers, like my favorite Maimonides, uh, that they, the, the more and more I would come across just naturally um, what they did, what they practiced, where did they cultivate such deep insight into uh, what's the purpose of uh, like the Torah or Judaism, the more and more I saw actually they practiced, they not only meditated but they meditated a lot. There was even like, I think it was Maimonides' grandson or son who, who wrote that in the eight times of the Talmud and 
the Mishnah, and even uh, Maimonides, they would meditate an hour before uh, prayers and even afterwards. And then you have other great uh, Rebbeim or sages uh, like the Baal Shem Tov, and you have uh, his grandson, <coughs> Nachman of Breslov, and the, the whole Breslov uh, Hasidic sect, and uh, the Altar Rebbe with uh, the Ch Chabad, and there's so much meditation in there um, that I begin now to recognize that there is so much um, tradition and, and practice of meditation in uh, Judaism. Yeah. And then also tying and recognizing like um, from the Kabbalah, that's also a very rich uh, spiritual meditation uh, tradition and, and work. And um, seeing how it, it talks a lot about uh, meditation and, and, you know, works by R.A. Kaplan um, and what goes on, you know, inner space in, in the meditation.